You know, when you have a company coming over and you run around the house and tidy it all up, well, I just spent half an hour vacuuming up all the shavings and getting my desk all nice and clean for, for you, my company. <laughs> it's been a crazy week. Uh, I've been doing lots of carving. I thought I'd better uh, give you a little update on these. Remember my little uh, my little rubber duckies that I was making there? Videos a couple a couple videos back. Well, I went and uh, made one with uh, with bunny ears, little uh, little Easter bunny, Easter ducky, and then uh, Sarah Bear Clow. She had this project in uh, Wood Carving Illustrated, the last issue, a little Valentine bear. So made that. And then I took it another way and uh, made another bear with this little uh, little heart, uh, silly little hand thing with the with the heart. But uh, actually, I threw this one out once, and then I fished them out of the garbage. But there's something wrong, something wrong with the hands here. His, his arms are too uh, too scrawny. But anyway, he'll go on the shelf now. I I think he looks better than he did when I threw him out the first time. <laughs> so there's him. Made this little guy here, just a regular guy, one hand in pocket, one out, and then I made Jim, good old Jim. Jim's a mechanic, and uh, he's got his, his uh, overalls or coveralls on with his work boots. And uh, why is he Jim? Because J I M is all I could fit on his little name tag. So there you go. But last fall, I was down in the States and I picked up this giant pencil. <laughs> and uh, no idea what I was going to do with it, but I just rediscovered it the other day. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a real, real big pencil, real uh, lead in it, and uh, it's wood. And it's wood and it probably has a good half inch of meat on the side, so... I thought uh, just to mix it up a little bit from my regular carving, uh, we'll just carve something on it. It will just kind of take you through the uh, basic steps and make a, just a regular old uh, wood spirit on the side of a pencil. That's different, right? So Let's do that. I think we'll keep the printing on the one side here and uh, let's just start. I'm just going to uh, use whatever tools that, uh, that I want to, but I'll just kind of take you through the steps here. So let's see how this carves, because that's going to be, uh, oh, she's dry, very dry wood. I don't know what that is. But. Huh. That's some, uh, that's some tougher wood. All right. This video has now become, uh, a high speed video. This wood is just brutal. It's super dry. It's breaking. It's brittle. And uh, I'm only giving you this uh, warning up front because uh, I may scrap the video if it just keeps breaking apart. There's knots and it's it's just horrible wood. But let's just run through this fast forward and uh, see what we can come up with something worth saving. <laughs>
Wow, that was horrible. Just horrible. The wood was dry as a fart. And just look at the the knots in here. It was so hard. But anyway, that's what we came up with. Very easy. What I really wanted to show you guys and uh, things that I'm learning as I go too is especially the temple area here you really want to bring that in a fellow told me once that this isn't a good example but there's almost a little a fish hook around from the temple up to the nose here and you want to have that little sweep up here thin thin in the temple area but my goodness that was insane I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint the eyeballs in I think for most of the uh, I may just oil the actual hair but I'll, I'll paint the eyeballs in and we'll oil the hair and uh, see what that looks like but yeah you notice I stopped talking about uh, well you wouldn't notice because I'm probably sped up this whole thing because once I got going I was like oh this is a fail video because it's just not going to work the pieces were just flaking and breaking off but anyway I think I'm happy with that so I'm going to paint the eyeballs on and then uh, we're not going to go we'll see if we got anything to look at in here we're going to let it soak in a bit just to give a backdrop for the eyes let's see if all these knots bleed through that's what we're doing Something else we're going to do too is we're going to take a little fine marker and give a nice black outline to the colored eyes. Alright. Alright. We'll get there. A little uh, micron marker here. I'm just going to put a little outline on the uh, on the eyes just to kind of frame the the color in see how sharp that makes yeah one eye that one's not done that one's done just kind of frames in the in the color a little black Just leaving a ring of the color around. Just a little bit of color showing on the edges of the eyes. And then we're going to put a little white dot in the corners for a reflection. Although you wouldn't think uh, the old wood spirit would have a reflection, but we're going to give it to him anyway. All right. little, little dauber. Alright. 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 Just mixing up a real dirty, uh, dirty lip color. I got some red and I got some brown. I don't really want a good I don't want bright, bright lips on this guy. Just gonna dab that. All right. Yeah, perfect. We don't want red lips. We just want almost a skin, almost a skin tone. Yeah. A little bit of, a little bit of pink. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna water down some uh, some brown here, and then we'll uh, we'll paint the beard area. I'm gonna make a real wet brown here. I'm gonna paint the uh, the hair with a just a really light brown wash, 
And then we're gonna oil the face for the skin color. I think that's gonna look pretty cool. All right, so let's see what that, yeah, it's not gonna be much of a, not much of a color. Without bringing into that pencil color nicely. Look at the knots in here. Crazy. This is nice. I can go right over the edge here and I'll just wipe it off the other paint. That color. That's going to be good. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to uh, grab some linseed oil here. I'm going to brush it on, and that's going to uh, give the skin some uh, some depth. I'm going to highlight all the shadows, and I'm going to go right over the whole uh, the whole beard and uh, hair and everything with it, and I'll wipe it off the edges. And I don't think we need any cheek color, so let's just uh, let me go ahead and open up my little linseed oil here, and uh, I'll get you down here. We'll share, we'll share this moment. Either in all the cracks up the nose and the mouth. I'll let that soak in for a minute, but uh, yeah, it'll be nice and flat when it's, uh, when it soaks in. And there's our little Wood Spirit Man in the giant pencil. I like it. I think it's pretty fun. I thought I thought for sure it was going straight in the garbage can uh, when I started into it with the wood was just flaking and chipping, but uh, yeah, we persevered and we got her done. So good, giant pencil done. So. Shout out to my uh, Patreons. We've got a few racked up in the last couple weeks. I uh, appreciate your support. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the next video. Not sure what it'll be yet, but uh, we'll try to we'll try to get more stuff out for you. So, all right. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya.